Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. It's me, Candace the Aries, and ooh, they be vaping. In Milford, Connecticut, high school principal Francis Thompson is desperately trying to snuff out a problem that teachers are having all across the country. They would come in here, you'd have four or five kids at a time congregating, and they'd start to vape. It's a trend that many parents are not even aware of. So, first of all, what we're not going to do is act like that principal didn't just pull that vape up out of his pocket. Like, that's his own personal vape. Hey, everybody know what the vape pen looks like. But I digress. Uh, what school do these kids go to? In the back two desks in the corner, um, they had their hands kind of up like this. Um, and there was a blue light coming from between their hands. Oh, hell no! You could never... So I'm really interested as to what type of educational facility this is that the children are just like, they don't even care about vaping in the bathrooms, in the classrooms. And that, that's not even a big classroom. In the classroom, y'all vaping or y'all bobo. For real? Okay. Who's selling these kids tobacco? Who's selling these kids these vape cartridges or whatever type of vape stuff that they're like who's selling these kids that am i incorrect or i thought you had to be like a certain age to be able to buy those products i didn't know that like a high schooler could come in and just buy a vape pen and then cartridges for their vape pens let me know in the comments maybe i'm tripping Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm a little bit out of whack, out of touch. I don't know. It's been a while since I've been in high school. Um, so I don't know. Maybe they are allowing kids to purchase tobacco products while they are underage. I don't know. But that is exactly what's happening. Cigarette use or vaping has grown an astonishing 900% among high school students in recent years, according to the Surgeon General. And a 2016 National Youth Tobacco Survey found nearly 1.7 million high school students and 500,000 middle schoolers had used e-cigarettes in just the 30-day period before the survey was taken. 900%? 900%? Really? Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Kids that I talk to believe that there's nothing in there that's dangerous they don't think there's anything more than water i know you fucking liar i can tell you one thing for sure two things for certain those children knew that that was not water that they were inhaling it's not water it's called e-liquid and when heated by the coil it changes to an aerosol columbia university researchers using this machine found the vapor has toxic metals like chromium nickel zinc and lead and as we know, there is no safe level of lead. With very little regulation, people are not fully aware of what they're consuming. None of the products that they showed that kids were using as vape cartridges or whatever you want to call them, none of them looked like they were water. They all looked flavored. They all looked like anything except water. So... You're also just believing the children as well, clearly. If they tell you it's a duck, even though it's a dog, you're just gonna go with a duck, huh? Oh, all, all, all right, that's, that's what we're doing here, okay. Nicotine is one of the most addictive substances out there. I think it's the next epidemic among teenagers. Boy, if you don't get... So you're not going to go after the people who actually make the cigarettes. You're going to go after the people who allow it to be vaped. Like, really? Cigarettes have been out for as long as I can remember. Cigarettes have always been extremely harmful for as long as I can remember. And they are legal. They really should be illegal because they are extremely highly addictive. It's hard for people to stop smoking cigarettes. You ain't never lying. But they're perfectly legal. Things that make it safe. I saw a commercial, and I know I'm not the only one that saw a commercial. The lady was so addicted to smoking cigarettes, she already had 
lung cancer. And she legit was smoking through her trach. That's how addictive they are. But you go in any store, they have them in liquor stores, grocery stores, any place that you could ever possibly go to to purchase something, you're more than likely going to be able to find cigarettes. They sell them at every single gas station I've ever been to. Every single gas station that I've ever been to. Every corner store. And now they also sell vape items as well. So I don't think the issue is cracking down on the people who are making the vapes. Sometimes it's just easier to blame somebody when sometimes people need to look in the mirror. The children need to, the children know that these are not things that they're supposed to be doing. They're doing what they want to do because they're teenagers. But I just kind of feel like placing the blame on one group of people when it really should be placed on That's not really how we roll anyway, y'all. Yeah. Well, we'll see how this turns out. Um, it's all of a sudden, a, you know, it's a national emergency type things. Um, guns are still everywhere, but we gotta stop those vape pens. But, you know, hey, what can I say? It is what it is. So that's it, you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, it's going to be it for me, Candace the Aries, and always remember to enjoy the journey.